Uh, I think Jim Ocasta is a very unprofessional man. I think he does this with everybody. He gets paid to do that. You know, he gets paid to burst in. He's a very unprofessional guy. Whether it was me or Ronald Reagan or anybody else, he would have done the same thing. Uh, I, look, I don't think he's a smart person, but he's got a loud voice. Is and here, wait, wait, David, do you mind if I answer the question? And as far as I'm concerned, I haven't made that decision, but it could be others also. When you're in the White House, this is a very sacred place to me. This is a very special place. You have to treat the White House with respect. You have to treat the presidency re with respect. If you've ever seen him dealing with Sarah Huckabee Sanders, it's a disgrace. And he does it for, you know, the reason. The same thing with April Ryan. I watch her get up. I mean, you talk about somebody that's a loser. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. She gets publicity, and then she gets a pay raise, or she gets a contract with, I think, CNN. But she's very uh, nasty, and she shouldn't be. She shouldn't be. You've got to treat the White House and the office of the presidency with respect. I see her nodding very positively, so I'll ask her, you know. I, you have to speak up, Doug. You have a helicopter raging back. For all the people that don't know why, my hearing is great, but you have a, a helicopter that's raging back there. In fact, do you remember Ronald Reagan? It always, what, what, I can't hear you. I never, I always thought he was hard of hearing. He wasn't. That's the problem.